I love the character. He's, 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 he's everything that I wish I could be as a man, you know? He's just, he's good for the sake of good. And, um, you know, that's, that's a fun character to try and portray. Uh, and, and the creative forces behind the film are fantastic. The world around him is a different place. Uh, you know, he's from a different era, and I think that era really defines who he is. Uh, I think the modern day is a bit more flash and style and uh, a bit more selfish and a bit more impersonal. You know, there's uh, a lot of technologies that put blocks in between people. And, uh, you know, the 40s, there was much more of a, maybe a direct and honest sincerity to the way people behaved, and, and I think, Human interaction breeds uh, manners, you know, and just, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a way of life that I think um, Steve has, uh, Steve, Steve has just become accustomed to, and it's just, it's a different world that he has to get used to. It's so nice that as the Avengers are finding their niche within a group, so are we as people. Um, and it's great, it's, 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 so far it's been a very healthy family. You know, I, it's almost too good to be true right now. I should knock on wood because things have gone so disgustingly well. It's almost, like I said, it's almost unbelievable. I, it's, I hope it lasts, you know, because we get along so well. There's not, and I, I said this earlier, one bad apple could, still, could spoil the bunch. You know, you get one stick in the mud and it changes the dynamic. I think everybody in this cast is so fantastic. We get along so well. I think Cap, you know, feels a little bit of a kinship with the guy. They're both uh, saddled with an immense amount of responsibility. They're both kind of fish out of water. You know, Banner had done a good job of hiding and doing his own thing, and then he's brought back to a place that he didn't choose to be. Um, and and he's, he's adjusting to a foreign environment just like I am. So I think there are similarities to their characteristics, but, or to their situation at least. And I, I, think, I think for the most part, you know, I feel like Cap treats, is kind of like a parent in a lot of ways. You know, I think he just looks out for people. Um, Banner is obviously in a sensitive situation, so I think Cap is doing what he can to make him feel comfortable and, and adjusted. Um, and Ruffalo, I can't, I can't say enough about Ruffalo. He's just, he's fantastic. He's one of those actors that's like, a, he's like, he, he throws himself into it. Well, I think first it's, it's his, uh, his understanding of the comic book world. He's, he's a fan, first and foremost. He knows comic books, so it's not like, there's never a question in my brain as to whether or not the fanboys will approve of what we're choosing to do. If, if all of a sudden I'm shooting a gun and you think, well, would Cap shoot a machine gun? If Joss said it's okay, it's okay. Um, you know, because he is that demographic. And second, it's his passion. This is, like you said, it's a tricky task to bring all these characters together. It's a tall order. You couldn't do this movie if you didn't absolutely love this genre, you know? You couldn't have a director talented as you want to find one if he wasn't in love with this style of filmmaking, the comic book characters and crazy sets and superpowers and things like that. Joss, I think, just eats it up.